people have this notion or, or certainly a notion that maybe we're looking at one disorder and so f the first thing I would say is we're really looking at a term that describes a catch bag of developmental, intellectual developmental disabilities and the way we uh, a child will pick up a diagnosis of autism today is entirely based on a, a triad or a trio of symptoms. Uh, uh, those symptoms are uh, social communication deficits, which of course everybody knows about general uh, inability to uh, effectively interact with somebody else. Um, perseverative or repetitive types of behaviours, uh, these can be physical, uh, they can involve uh, fixations on specific things, fire trucks, airplane numbers, trains. Um, and uh, the last part are these sensory disturbances, uh, the idea of uh, sensory processing deficits, uh, peculiarities in, in, in the interaction with the sensory environment. The key there is that we, what we call autism today is something that we describe from the symptoms. And why do we do that? We do that because we don't know the underlying neurobiology or the underlying neuropathology for most of the individuals that, that we diagnose with autism. Uh, uh, and so in that sense, it's a, it's a syndrome, it's a spectrum, it's a group of people that meet a certain diagnostic criteria.